Your industrial needs are likely varied, but one thing in common in today's industrial environment is the need for better context of information. Furthermore, we want seamless integration of data and devices regardless of geographical location. In particular, let's explore how Wonderware software can be used as a data hub to bring that need to reality. In this video, we focus our attention on OI Gateway, MQTT, and publishing information to an MQTT broker. In other videos that you've seen, we have focused the attention on actually subscribing to information that has been published from IoT devices to an MQTT broker. Think about the case where you have a remote site as we have shown here in the picture. This remote site can actually be considered an edge device from an MQTT perspective and can publish data to the broker. Leveraging the OI gateway, you can publish data from any OPC source. OI servers are one such OPC source. You can also publish data from System Platform, InTouch, and other applications. We will focus our attention on these user scenarios. In the first scenario, we're going to demonstrate how to use the OI server to build an OPC connection between the OI server and the OI gateway, and also to build an MQTT publishing list. Using the system management console, we have already configured a connection to a PLC. I have a show the connection expanded here because we're going to need that information for our OPC hierarchical structure later. We have also configured the connection to our Wonderware test MQTT broker. We now create an OPC connection to that ABC IP OI server using the OPC connection in the OI gateway. We search the OPC server you know, we find it here in, as ABCIP. And now we're actually going to create the group as required for the connection. Now, one thing that we're going to use here, as I mentioned before, is that hierarchical information so we don't have to deal with it in the MQTT published items. And now you also see a new tab on the top called MQTT published items, which is where exactly we put those specific tag names that are going to be used to publish. We link to that MQTT broker connection that we used. And also, we have a uniqueness ID because as we create tags, it is possible that these remote systems are all identical. So when they go to a central MQTT broker, we don't want that information to be mixed. Hence, the need for the uniqueness ID. You can simplify this uniqueness ID for something that makes more sense to you. And that's all you need to do. Your configuration for publishing data to an MQTT broker from a PLC has been configured. And here we can see the live data as it's being published to the MQTT broker. We just demonstrated how the OI gateway can leverage OPC data sources to publish data to an MQTT broker. Now let's expand on that. The OI gateway is after all a protocol converter. It can connect to various industry standard data sources and convert them to SweetLink, DDE, or OPCDA. We will leverage these capabilities of the OI gateway similar to what we showed with the PLC. In essence, we will show how anything that can be funneled through the OI gateway can also become part of an IoT strategy. For our example, it will be able to publish to an MQTT broker. We will now continue where we left off and demonstrate how to create an orchestra connection, in other words, connect to a galaxy and publish information from the galaxy to MQTT. So we create our orchestra connection, give it the proper security information as we expect the galaxy is secured. And also, as usual, we need to create the scan group for this particular connection. Once this scan group is created, then we go ahead to the next step, which is the OPC connection to the orchestra connection, because remember, the OPC connection is the one that has the MQTT publishing capability. So we browse to the OPC source. In our, in our particular case here is the OI gateway, which has the orchestra connection that we have created. Right? We add the group in our OPC section, which has the MQTT publish item section, and we point to the MQTT broker that we have configured. We create the uniqueness ID, but now we also uh, want to remember add that OPC prefix that it's important to keep the syntax simple. I show here how to use the OPC browser in case you don't remember how to utilize that OPC syntax. Instead, you know, we use the OPC browser to help us. So that part is now configured. 
The next step is to uh, deactivate and reactivate the OI gateway to consume the changes that we did for the orchestra connection. Now that that's done, we, the next step is really to add the list of items or items that we want to publish. As a help guide, what I do is use the browser in the IDE to help me with the syntax. Remember that MQTT is case sensitive. So instead, I basically copy the syntax using the browser and publish it in the gateway. Remember also that here you can import a CSV list to help you in case you want to do more. And we demonstrate now that uh, the information is already there. This, this is the new one that we just added. You are now ready to leverage the OI gateway and your Wonderware software to simply and efficiently integrate your information needs from anywhere. Thanks for watching.